a picture perfect weekend to head out to the zoo. And speaking of pictures, there are so many photo opportunities at Boo Zoo for uh, all of the month of October. Things would be decked out in Halloween decorations. And here with me this morning, I have Jamie from Natural Encounters. We've already seen the Houston toad, we've seen the porcupine, and now I did not realize this is probably one of my new favorite animals. You've all seen Timon and Pumbaa on the Lion King, correct? Well, Timon is actually a meerkat. So we have all these little meerkats, and they do these funny little things where they stand up, and they it almost looks like they put their hands in their front pockets, but they don't have front pockets. Oh, that one, he is just diving, diving straight into that uh, scarecrow. But, Jamie, why are they standing like that, and why is it so funny? <laughs> so when they wake up in the mornings, they need to warm up their bodies so they will go and stand like that and the skin on their stomach is the thinnest so it helps them warm up for the day um, and when they need to cool down they'll come and lay um, in some cool spaces flat down like that and that helps them cool down their body temperature. Oh well it makes sense why they're doing that so much this morning because it is a little bit on the cooler side out here you don't see it but I, I go warm up in my <laughs> flannel uh, between our, our hits here today uh, but what are some other fun things that the, the meerkats are going to be doing throughout the month of October? Well these are really curious little creatures so so as you can see right now, they are exploring their enrichment that we've given them, which is a little uh, scarecrow zookeeper. Um, so they are foraging through that hay, and they're also going to eat some of that pumpkin. So we give them different enrichment daily, um, things that will stimulate them here and encourage them to do natural behaviors. The daily, they'll have different things, you know, scent enrichment, food enrichment, um, all types of things that they really like. And they're really curious, so they are a really fun animal to enrich. I see them uh, taking bites out of that pumpkin as well. I think they like it. They're probably wanting a little pumpkin spice <laughs> with that. I know I wouldn't mind a pumpkin spice latte on this chilly start to the day. Well, if you have plans on coming out to the Houston Zoo this week, and the weather will be absolutely phenomenal. We have those high temperatures in the 80s. Overnight lows are dropping into the 50s throughout the night. So if you have plans to be out here early in the morning or late in the evening, in fact, they are going to be staying open later throughout all of our Fridays in October. Um, you might want to go ahead and bring the sweater along with you as it's that time of year where things are going to down when the sun goes down. Also, when the sun goes down, the Houston Zoo will be lighting up like a jack-o'-lantern here throughout this spooky season. I'm meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Can't wait to see what animal I'll have with me next. You're watching CW39 Houston. No wait. Weather and traffic. I have to say is that my dog, I call her a meerkat sometimes because she stands up like that. She's like eight pounds and she'll like sit down on her back legs and uh, put her paws up. It's the cutest thing and I bet a lot of other dogs are doing that too.